Hello and welcome. My name is Joan Shepler and I'm the children's author and I'm the author of A Home for George and I'm so glad you're here today to join me while I read the story A Home for George by Joan Shetler and illustrated by Michael Sutropath. A giraffe, an elephant, and a bear sat in a toy store. At night when they were all alone, the stuffed animals talked. I want a home, said a bear. I would like a family, said the elephant, but I would like someone to love, said the giraffe. And every day they waited, hoping to be carried out in the arms of someone who loved them. One day a lady rushed in. I must have a stuffed animal with a very big heart. There are children waiting. And all the animals puffed out their chests and wished to themselves, pick me, I love children. I'm full of love. I'll take him, said the lady, and she picked the tallest one. A giraffe has the largest heart of any land animal. She hurried to her car and put down the top. You aren't just any giraffe, you are George the giraffe, and we're off to your new home. And as they traveled down the busy streets, George wondered where his new home would be. He saw children playing soccer, riding bikes, and climbing on jungle gyms. He wished he had a friend sitting next to him. Will there be someone to play with in my new home? George thought out loud. Yes, said the lady. A boy or a girl, he asked. Wait, the lady said, you'll see. George worried a little less about being all alone. Soon they drove onto a highway. Cars honked and buzzed as they passed and the children pressed their faces against the car windows, tapping to get George's attention. Crossing a river, George waved at a family picnicking, a woman fishing and friends kayaking. He traveled by a playhouse on stilts and wondered who lived there. George saw clouds passing overhead, breathed in the country air and felt the warm summer sun. Rows of grapes, rolling hills, and distant mountains amazed him. Then George spotted a colorful building on a bluff and wondered what it was. He watched an ambulance speed by. They turned down a tree-lined street. The car slowed. George wished the woman would stop so he could nibble on the leaves. Bushes shaped like elephants, bears, and stars lined the way. In front of the building, three life-size green giraffes stood in a circle of colorful flowers. Wow, said George, a castle. Let's go in, said the lady. When the doors opened, the staff held a sign. Children and hospital workers waved balloons, clapped and shouted, George the giraffe, we're your family. And George's heart swelled. This is a children's hospital, Saad said, as he took George's front hook. It's where lots of people help sick children get well. Well, what will I do here, asked George. Come with me, Azad led him to the outdoor playground. George played golf with a little girl, caught a little boy going down the slide, and a girl asked him to push her chair. He helped each one, and George's heart grew. Off in the playroom, Assad and George joined Marta, who was playing restaurant. She fixed George a plate of greens and ta a taco. He pretended to eat them just like the other children. George learned to build with blocks, played a tambourine, and played dress up. Uh, George's heart felt even bigger. George watched a puppet show and listened to stories. Mia said, read me another story, please. George brought a stack of books and they looked at them until she fell asleep. I like this place, George said to the lady. They like you too, she whispered. And George overflowed with happiness. I'm going home today, Azad said. I feel a lot better. Would you like one more wagon ride before you leave? Asked George and Azad climbed in. George pulled him around the world map and out to his car where Azad's father waited. Buckle up, George said, helping him fasten his seatbelt. Come back for a visit. I'll always be here for you. George waved until Azad's car passed the circle of flowers, past the cliff shrubs and shaped like animals and down the tree-lined street. When he turned around, another child 
climbed in the red wagon, George pulled the wagon through the doors of his perfect new home. And with a full heart, George's new life began at Valley Children's Hospital. Story, A Home for George. And please click the link on this page for more information about George and Valley Children's Hospital. Thank you for joining me today and have a wonderful day.